Hi everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to Brittany Southern Kitchen. Today I am making um, fried chicken strips with salad and this is going to be the first video of two recipes for easy weeknight meals. So I already got my, I already got two large chicken breasts here. I'm going to get them cut up and get all the fat and trimmings off and then I will cut them into chicken strips. And you want to make sure when you're done cutting chicken, you clean up your area and your hands before you go and touch anything else. Alright, so I got my chicken cut up here. I've already washed my hands. I have me a Ziploc bag here. And I'm going to get this seasoned. I'm just going to put some Tony's on it and salt, pepper, and a little bit of extra garlic. And since I already got my hands washed, I'm just going to use my tongs to maneuver them as well as putting them in the bag. You could do this in a bowl. It would be a lot easier. Put all the seasonings on top and then mix them in the bowl. But I already have this dirty that I'm going to have to wash before I cut up my other stuff in here. So, I'm just going to use this. Some black pepper. And these are just your basic ingredients. The only thing extra I'm adding is Tony's Creo seasoning. If you watched any of my videos before, like I say all the time, we like things spicy around here. So I use this for pretty much every meal. Even if I'm following a recipe, I will still add Tony's to it. So I'm just going to get these moved around a little bit here. Like I said, my cutting board is big enough to do this on so it's not that I don't have to waste another bowl. Alright, the next thing I'm going to use is a Louisiana seasoned crispy chicken fry batter mix and it is spicy so that's why I didn't do too much of the Tony's. I thought I had my scissors around here so I'm just going to use a knife. So I'm just going to get this open and I like to pour my flour batter fish fry, whatever I'm using to fry anything into a Ziploc bag, it just makes it so much easier to get everything coated. And this, I think, is like $2.50 at the store, so it's not bad. I've used it for chicken, um, chicken breast boneless, um, bone-in chicken, as well as shrimp. It works really good with shrimp as well. Right, so in the bag, my chicken goes. I'm just going to hold it open so I won't get any juices everywhere. And I don't get the air out, I leave the air in. And I'm just going to shake it until it all gets coated together. I don't know if you can see, but it's already come and coated together. I'm not going to double dip these because I'm going to use them on a salad, so I don't want them extra crispy. And they all look coated. And each time um, before I get them in the fryer I'll just move it around and I'll probably have to make them. this should all fit into one bucket uh, one pot I mean so if not I'll just keep moving it around so let me get this washed and my counter cleaned up and I'll get the chicken frying and get my salads put together good 
sounds like it's time for our chicken. I'm going to turn it about seven. And so I don't have to wash my hands again. I'm going to use my tongs that I got washed. And we'll just drop them in there. So it may have to be two batches because I still got a lot of chicken here. And I only used two chicken breasts, so I definitely still got a lot of chicken left in there. So we'll just let this cook probably around six to eight minutes. And then we'll throw the next batch in. Okay, so I put it in this bowl for you guys. This is my salad. I just used the Taylor Farms Garden Salad Mix. I chopped up some zucchini, some carrots, and some tomatoes. And then we'll get it all plated up and show you guys what it looks like. Alright you guys, so this is the finished product. We got our salad. I went ahead and salt and peppered it. Chicken strips. And two pieces of French bread that I put the... Um, Chef Sammy's garlic buttery on and heated it in the oven and we're just going to serve this with some ranch. Hi guys, welcome back. Today is going to be the second part to the video of two super simple meals this one again is going to be around 30 minutes or less to make i just have six chicken legs here you can have this with chicken breast chicken thighs are the legs and i just poured some olive oil over them i got them already washed and they're just gonna move them around to get them all coated and i always do my opposite side so they fit a little better let me wash my hands Okay, and to this, I'm going to add some Tony's Creo. You can add as much as you like or as little as you like or don't add any at all. We like our spicy. The next thing I'm going to add is some of this roasted garlic and herb Weber seasoning. This is something I picked up the other day at... Sam's, so I think this is my second time using it. We used it the other day on um, the chicken and it turned out really well. I'm just going to do a little bit of salt. Salt that I'm using is the pink Himalayan. Some black pepper. And then just a little bit of the body of complete. And I'm just going to move these around a little bit, get seasonings everywhere. Put it right back in place. Alright, and I already have my oven preheated to 425. I'm just going to add about a fourth maybe yeah about a fourth cup of water in there and that's what it looks like going in and this is going to take right around 25 to 30 minutes okay guys so the other thing i'm going to cook with the chicken as a side dish is i'm going to um, cook up some zucchini in the oven and also some biscuits these are going to take about 15 minutes to our desired liking so i'm going to let these cook for about five minutes and then put my biscuits on there and I'm just going to get these cut up and seasoned. 
And to do that, I'll just cut the ends off here. And I'm gonna cut this in half. It don't have to be perfect. And then from that, I'm gonna cut the halves in half again. And then I'm just gonna cube them up. Being that I cut this one smaller, it probably will take a little less time, so I might go ahead and make, um, put the biscuits on it at once with it. So you just get these cubes up here, and then we'll get them seasoned. Alright, so I just got the last few, the last little bit of pieces here of zucchini. And I just used my little small cutting board for that since I wasn't cutting up anything else. I didn't need to get out the large one. And this was washed and then cut up. To it, I'm going to put them in a pile. And I'm going to add just a little bit of olive oil. Normally, I would use Tony's Crew seasoning. But again, we are trying to use the roasted garlic and herb um, seasoning. It's actually, let me see. Okay, so actually, instead of using the roasted garlic and herbs, since we've already used that this week and also used on the chicken, I'm going to try the Louisiana Fish Fry Products uh, Cajun Seasoning. It says it's good on anything, vegetables, meat, anything. So we're going to try this on that. And I'm not going to use anything else to this, but maybe a little bit of the Him Himalayan salt and some black pepper. They don't smell super spicy but it does smell like you got a whole bunch of stuff in there let's see my black pepper is right here and i'm just going to use my hand and get these all i'm trying not to go too far on that side because that's where i'm going to put the biscuits My chicken's been cooking for right at 20 minutes, about two minutes shy of 20 minutes. So I'm gonna put this in right in time for it to make a 30 minute meal. Getting my hands washed here so I can get the biscuits open. And I'm just going to use the Butter Tasting Grand's Home Southern Homestyle Biscuits. This is the one, I think these are like $1.50 a pack, and it just comes with five big, big biscuits. I like getting these versus buying the big, the one that comes with the 10 biscuits, because most of the time I have leftovers, so. And I just like to get these. close together as I can because I feel like they cook better that way. So we're going to get this in the oven and I'll keep checking and keep an eye on it and it'll probably take around right at 8 to 10 minutes for this and then the chicken be ready as well.